Throughout history, a recurring prophecy has echoed through the scriptures of various religious texts, notably in the Bible's books of Ezekiel, Zechariah, Isaiah, Daniel, Joel, and the Psalms. The envisioned conflict of Gog and Magog, foreseen by prophets like King David, portrays a cataclysmic event marking the end of all wars. In Ezekiel's writings, a powerful narrative emerges where Gog, the chief warrior, leads an unprecedented battle, drawing attention to Meshech and Tubal, descendants of Japheth, Noah's son. Numerous interpretations and discussions have arisen, sparking diverse opinions on this prophecy. However, a consensus prevails. A monumental war looms on the horizon. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the specifics and timing, the belief persists that this war heralds the arrival of a new era, a time of hope and rejuvenation, potentially heralding the coming of the Messiah. The prophecy envisions an upheaval, potentially centered around Jerusalem, a city of profound significance across major religions. Ezekiel's verses paint a vivid picture, indicating a gathering of a massive army, equipped with weaponry and shields, preparing for a battle of unprecedented scale. The precise unfolding of events remains elusive, shrouded in mystery, but a focal point emerges the mountains of Israel as the prophesied battleground. The magnitude of the conflict is likened to ancient Assyrian armies, hinting at the colossal scale of this prophesied war. Interpretations diverge on the identity of Gog and Magog, depicting them as distant nations or entities from the far north, long secluded from the rest of the world. The prophetic vision suggests Gog's involuntarily led charge into war, akin to an animal directed by hooks in its jaws, a symbol of a forceful initiation rather than a voluntary choice. The prophecy resonates with the collective desire to conquer Jerusalem, symbolizing a deeper spiritual conflict. It's believed that historic oppressors of Israel might re-emerge in this apocalyptic battle, reshaping their destinies to fulfill this prophecy. However, amidst the foreseen chaos, a prophecy also foretells an end to the era of warfare, symbolized by the utilization of weapons as fuel, marking a shift towards a new age of spiritual enlightenment and communal benefit. The reasons behind this prophesied war are multifaceted, blending visible factors like material wealth with deeper spiritual undercurrents. The scriptures depict a dialogue between the prophet and Gog, hinting at motives beyond plunder, a spiritual confrontation where God's power and presence will be revealed to all nations. Moreover, this conflict represents an ideological struggle a clash between the forces that seek to sever humanity's connection with higher truths and those defending the divine order. The prophecy transcends mere predictions of conflict. It encapsulates a transformative narrative, a pivotal moment in history, leading towards a spiritual awakening and a harmonious coexistence between the material and spiritual realms. Ultimately, while prophecies of wrath and punishment exist, there's an underlying principle that good prophecies must prevail. The interpretation of these prophecies often depends on the path humanity chooses to tread. The enigmatic nature of this prophecy invites contemplation, discussion, and speculation. Regardless of one's beliefs, it serves as a reminder of the perpetual quest for spiritual enlightenment and the continuous search for meaning in our existence. If you found this video enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it. Additionally, subscribing to this channel will ensure that you receive more updates in the future. Thank you.